I'm here with Carmelo and he's going to answer some nutrition based questions uh, specific to nutrition and the eyes. Carmelo, can you eat your way to better eyesight? That's a great question, Shifa. The short answer to that is no. But it must be said that there are certain foods that will have an impact on our general health, but especially the health of our eyes. And in order to preserve the health of the eyes, eating well and avoiding certain foods um, is something that's really important. And which vitamins are important for the eyes? Well, there are a number of vitamins that are particularly important to help supplement and preserve the health of the eyes, including vitamin A, vitamin C and E. Um, vitamin A is usually uh, something that you can get from uh, colourful foods. So I like to, as a way of remembering it, introduce the tricolour diet, which means dark, greafy, uh, greafy? <laughs> green leafy vegetables, things like carrots and pumpkins, um, but also the red end of the spectrum, red bell peppers, uh, for instance. Uh, vitamin E, that's your nuts, your seeds and your beans. Um, vitamin A and E have a crucial role in keeping the cornea healthy, um, but also the retina, in particular part of the retina known as the macula, which we use for our fine detailed vision. And vitamin C, this miracle vitamin that keeps us all healthy and helps us recover from colds and flus, are required really to help the collagen that support the proteins uh, within the eyes and the various structures. Uh, the B vitamins, uh, vitamin B6, uh, B9 and B12, which you can get from broccolis and sprouts uh, and red meat. These are anti-inflammatory and of course inflammatory eye conditions there are a number of those so eating anti-inflammatory rich foods such as the b vitamins are very important if you're vegetarian then you can supplement with liquid uh, vitamin b uh, which is widely available uh, most of my patients have heard about lutein and zeaxanthin which are plant derived compounds that keep the macula healthy Unfortunately, we can't get a high concentration of these from our foods, which is why supplements are, are very good in order to um, help us uh, get the right amounts to support macular health. And there are omega-3 fatty acids that we can obtain from things like salmon, or if you're vegetarian, flax seeds. These really help with dry eye disease, um, preventative uh, in, uh, in, increase in symptoms, and for blepharitis as well, which is an inflammatory eyelid condition that is uh, very common. You briefly touched on it, and that was my next question. Do supplements really work? Well, supplements, uh, it has to be said, are not adequate as meal replacements. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. But there is sufficient evidence from research, peer-reviewed research, to support the benefits of supplementation to support the health of the macula in particular. So, for example, if you have been told that there are some signs in your eyes of dry macular degeneration, it may benefit you to go on to using supplements for the macula that contain lutein and zeaxanthin specifically, as that can help reduce the risk of progression to the wet or more serious type of macular degeneration, which can cause a profound loss in vision. Can we find these supplements for our patients or where can they get them from? So the supplements that are in line with the most recent and trusted studies on macular degeneration are supplements like MacuShield, for instance. Uh, these are widely available in pharmacists and supermarkets. Uh, supplementation for the eyes, particularly MacuShield, doesn't come cheap. Um, but it's like with it, everything at the moment, it's an expensive business uh, keeping ourselves healthy with supplements, which is why I've made a point to uh, make sure that everybody knows the type of foods that we can eat to keep our macula healthy without supplements. However, MacuShield is probably the uh, most researched and recommended. And can we get them at Eyes on Broadway? Uh, yes, we can, by special order. It's not something we keep stock of um, because we like to keep our supplements fresh. 
So whenever our patient needs them, they can uh, just request it. Thank you, Carmelo. No problem.